Imagine to yourself a garden. In that garden, there are a few trees which get supply of water through pipes. One day the gardener arrives and saw that the orange tree has stopped getting water and next to it a puddle of water. The gardener immediately understood that there is a hole in the pipe and blocked the hole with tape. The water started to flow to the orange tree again. Another day the gardener arrives and sees that the apple tree has stopped getting a supply of water and that there is a big puddle next to the apple tree. He understood that there is a hole in the pipes and blocked it again using tape again. A day later when he arrived at the garden he saw that the tape did not help and the water continued to leak. So he decided to disconnect the pipe to avoid losing more water. In this lesson we will learn about a subject more important than gardening, but keep the story in mind. In this lesson we are going to learn about how we will stop the blood which is so vital to be lost. We shall divide hemorrhages to two categories, inner and outer. In the field we have no way to deal with inner hemorrhages, but we will learn how to deal with the outer ones. Even the outer hemorrhages we will divide to two categories, significant ones and non-significant ones. In this lesson we will learn how to deal with these types of hemorrhages. Non-significant hemorrhages are like the small hole in the gardener's pipe. In this situation, the loss of blood will be pretty slow. The treatment will usually be direct pressure. Just like the tape that stopped the leaking of the pipe, we will stop the bleeding using a bandage. The bandage should apply direct pressure onto the hemorrhage. If we cannot bandage the area, we will stop the bleeding by another way, even if it means directly pressuring the bandage onto the hemorrhage until the better solution arrives. But what happens if the situation is a little more extreme and the water leakage is happening in a couple of places, or the hole is too big, or we don't even know the exact location of the hole? The treatment of these situations will be indirect pressure. It is called that way because unlike the direct pressure, we are not dealing with the specific hemorrhage, but are blocking the blood supply to the area. Similar to the garden story, instead of blocking the hole, we stop the water supply to that area and thus we will stop the leaking of the water. How shall we do so? Using an entire tourniquet.